Hey ladies, welcome back for another video. I figured since I never go anywhere and I have a trip planned this weekend, this would be the perfect opportunity to do like a pack with me vlog. Um, I'm going to Galveston. It is a work trip, so I'll be wearing mostly formal things. Um, to be completely honest, I literally am supposed to be leaving here in like an hour. Uh, still haven't finished my makeup. Hair still isn't done, as you can see, and um, I'm sure you know by the fact that I'm recording this right now that my bags have not yet been packed, so this is just a little tidbit about me. I am a master procrastinator, um, but I always like to say I work well under pressure. <laughs> I, think, I think that's just my excuse for not doing what I'm supposed to do when I'm supposed to do it, but anyways... Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear. So I'm in my office right now trying to get some clothes before my husband has to hop on some meetings. I really loved this sheer duster when I shared it in my most recent YouTube video. So I thought maybe I would um, try to find something to wear with that, like this dress that I got from H&M. I thought this would be really cute for like um, cocktail hour that we have this evening. I also have another dress that um, I was gonna wear for tomorrow. This is a turtleneck sweater dress. It's like in the 70s, 60s and 70s here this weekend. And normally it's been like in the 80s, but for whatever reason, it's just gotten so cold these past few days. So I wanna do something warm. I have no idea what shoes I'm gonna wear. I think I'm just riding the Hot Mess Express and trying to figure out what I'm going to wear, but it's okay because I'm not a light packer by any means. So I always take like seven extra outfits, even though I don't necessarily need them, just so that I can have options. So I'm sure that's what I'm going to end up doing this time around. All right. So I decided that I was going to take some casual options too. I've got some jeans that I'm going to take. Uh, just because I don't know like what the happy hour environment is going to be like. I also wanted to take this top because I haven't been able to wear it out anywhere. I haven't had a reason to wear it since I got it. Um, so I wanted to take this top too just in case. But there's also a bodysuit that I'm going to be taking. I just don't know what I'm going to wear. I'm the worst at this. And this is why I always end up in sweatpants to be honest. Like because it's so much effort trying to put together an outfit, but at least now I have a reason to like put an outfit on and it's not just me filming or working around my house. And I am definitely feeling something with this bodysuit. I shared it on here, but I actually haven't even worn it like out in public yet. So I feel like the structured shoulders and just like the good material that it is will come in really handy this weekend. And maybe even I was thinking even like under this sheer duster that I just shared in one of my most recent um, YouTube videos, uh, I'm just, just so conflicted. And I'm like somebody who needs to have lots and lots of options. I am not a light packer by any means. So I was just going through and trying to figure out what I want to wear. I was thinking maybe this dress, I haven't worn it in like two and a half years. So I am taking like every color denim. I have black denim. I have white denim and I have dark blue denim just so that I have options. <laughs> All right. So for shoes, I think I definitely want to take these clear heels for tonight and maybe these to go with the sweater dress uh the turtleneck sweater dress I feel like those would be really cute let's see maybe just a basic black pair of pumps and mm, I feel like that's a pretty good shoe selection I can probably avoid venturing too far out of these options maybe oh I'm so conflicted now because now I'm seeing like all these shoes like what about these studs these would be really cute with that okay those are going too <laughs> all 
All right, so for jewelry, I definitely want to take these earrings. They're probably like my most recent favorite earrings. I love the ear crawler and the and the gold tassel that it has. Those are so cute. These are something that I got forever ago. It's been like years, but I love them so much. They have just like this little fun Aztec vibe to them. And then I also really love these tortoiseshell acrylics. So I'm going to be taking these for earrings. And I already put my bracelets on, actually. And then I think, I don't think I'm going to do like any major. Oh, these are pretty too. I forgot I had these. I think those were Shein order. Oh man, now I can't decide. All right, so now it's time for beauty products and I wanted to share my favorite makeup case with you. I use this every time I travel and I just love it so much. It has little compartments up here for the makeup brushes to go. And then also you can like customize these. You can pull them out and make them any shape or any size that you need for your makeup products. So let me show you what I have so far. So my makeup fits literally like perfectly in there. And I've got some lipsticks. I wanted to do some fun colors. For the weekend i never do anything fun with lip color it's always like a really pretty nude or neutral so i want to switch it up this weekend excuse the mess that is my bathroom right now but i'm going to get the rest of my makeup items okay so this is hair stuff eyelash curler mascara eyeliner brow gel um let's take my handy dandy tooth whitening uh these things are awesome and I actually love that you can travel with them I'll link it down in the description if you're interested okay so for those of you who don't know Galveston is on the coast um so I'm not sure what my hair situation is going to be like normally my hair is just like very fine and just lays flat um but I want to be able to like hold curl and everything like that so I'm not sure what, if it's going to be able to do that with the humidity and stuff in the air, but I'm taking two, pro two of my favorite products in hopes, fingers crossed, that it works. I have the Puff Me powder. This is for volume. And then I also have the Navy Dry Texture Spray. This is for volume, for body, for hold. This is amazing. Like, I love this stuff to death. I've shared it a ton on my Instagram. And then I got my palettes, my pixie palettes for blush, for eyeshadow, got my uh, um, facial cleanser. Wow, can't think today. Um, let's see, what else? Makeup sponges. I'm just like literally gathering things as I'm sitting here with you. So my skincare, I really tried to simplify it. And I've really only been using these two products by The Ordinary. The first product is their Buffet. And then I also use their um, Rosehip Seed Oil. And I've kind of just been using this like as a moisturizer. And I don't know. I feel like my skin has been really, really good lately. So I'm like half tempted to just keep it simple and not even venture too far off from this. I've been taking some collagen are some vegan collagen supplements so not actually collagen if you are ever curious that's where collagen comes from uh feel free to do a google search um but i take these vegan supplements that are that help your body produce natural collagen so i definitely have noticed a difference in that as well okay i guess i just need to get stuff packed up and hit the road i just stopped for a little restroom break um I never did get a chance to do my hair before I left, but it's fine. Everything's fine. So I'm one of those people that I actually enjoy like road trips and driving um, long distance and things like that. Not too long, but like a few hours really just gives me like time to think and reflect. 
and plan. So that's really what I've been doing this entire drive. I've just been like thinking about content, thinking about like the direction that I want to take with my, you know, my YouTube channel, my podcast, Instagram, and, and like all of it. And it has been really good for me because I've actually gotten acclimated with some of the features of my new car. So I haven't taken the Lexus on like a road trip. And honestly, I really didn't even want to because I really want to like keep it in good shape and preserve the miles and stuff like that. Because my plan is um, to give it to Marley when she can drive in just a few years. Oh my God, it's so crazy how fast time flies. So like in four years, like that was my plan was to give it to Marley. Um, but anyways, long story short, there is a car rental shortage by where I live. And so I wasn't able to get a rental car. Um, so I kind of had to take my car and drive it. Um, but it did give me the opportunity to learn like more about the cruise control. It has some amazing safety features. If you're in the, you are in the market for a new car. Like I highly, highly recommend the Lexus RX 350 because it is amazing. It's such an amazing machine. It's hands down my favorite car. I love all of the safety features, even like the cruise control. It has sensors and in the front. So if you get too close to a vehicle that's in front of you and you have it on cruise control, the car will automatically slow itself down to that speed, to the speed of the car in front of you. It's like incredibly intelligent technology. And um, same with like the brights. If you have your bright lights on and it sees lights coming at you, it will turn your brights off and then turn them back on once that light or that car has passed. So it's an amazing vehicle. I'm so thankful for it. It was like on my bucket list and I wanted it forever. But I had to wait until we got the house to get the car. So as soon as we closed on our house, I went and I bought the car and I've been in love with it ever since. After five long hours in the car, oh my gosh, Houston traffic was insane. Um, but I finally made it and I'm here. I don't know. So apparently our plans changed and we're actually going to be um, doing some things in the morning and I thought I had tomorrow morning free. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to share much of the actual like resort with you. How do I open these lines? But I will show you my room and my view because it is awesome. So they have like different pyramids and each pyramid has like um, an aquarium or like some sort of exhibit. So there's lots and lots to do here. They even have, I don't know what those are. Is that like an obstacle course or doesn't look like water slides. I'm not really sure. Uh, indoor outdoor pools, she said. And then you can see the water. So it looks like this is kind of like a bay area and then maybe opens up to the ocean down that way. I don't, I'm not sure. It's like a little too foggy to be able to tell for certain. And then the room definitely has like all of the beach color vibes with this like teal color and then the yellows and the browns. But it's a super cute little room. I'm glad that I get a bed all to myself. I'm so excited about this. Like, I don't think I've been in a hotel room by myself since my kids were born. So I'm really, really excited about that. And then there's this little vanity area. Oh, this is not a vanity area. This is a coffee area. I guess it serves a dual purpose coffee and vanity. I'll be doing makeup here because I don't drink coffee. And a closet. Okay, good. They have hangers. I was worried that they wouldn't have hangers. And the bathroom. I 
I feel like this lighting because it's so like gloomy outside it just makes everything look blue in this in the video even when I was recording when I stopped at the gas station it looks blue um I'm gonna get caught up on emails oh my gosh and responses to dms and stuff like that and then I'm going to go find the hot tub for like a split second before we all have to meet and get to work I literally have like 40 minutes to get ready I wasn't planning on taking a shower but when I got here like my hair was so dirty and I was just like in sweats and felt really gross so decided that I would go ahead and just take a shower tonight all right I have a feeling that this little beauty counter space that I shared earlier is just going to be a mess by the time I'm done. All right, here is the complete look. This bodysuit is something that I've literally had forever, but I will try to find something similar that I can link down in the description for you. And then I just went with the black denim jeans. So I finally made up my mind. And these clear heels. I love these and I've actually only been able to wear them out like once or twice. So definitely taking this cocktail hour or this little refreshment session, whatever you want to call it, um, to dress up a little bit. I even put on my red lipstick. So we went to the pyramids today or to go check out these exhibits that they have over here. Oh, the lighting is crazy. Um, so they had like a rainforest, whoa, a rainforest exhibit. They also have an, an, an aquarium. And then one was like a discovery. We, we actually didn't end up going in there, but I tried to capture some footage for y'all so you could see like the inside. I know I haven't had like the chance to do anything around the hotel or show you like anything else about Moody Gardens, but I at least wanted you to get some clips from that because it's actually like a hotel aside. It is like a destination place, like a fun place to take your kids and like uh, just come check out and explore. But anyways, we're getting ready to go out to dinner. We finished up um, a long day of work today and I'm just like so tired. I don't know if it was the drive in or just being up past my bedtime last night or what, but I'm ready to eat and then go to sleep. And then tomorrow I get to drive home and 
be with my babies again. And it is like so hard for me to be away from my kids. Like they're like my everything. So when I'm not at home or when I'm not with them, I just don't feel complete. So I don't leave them a lot. Um, and same with my husband too. So I'm just ready to get home. And if you saw on Instagram, my husband decided to get a puppy while I was here. So I get to go home to a new puppy. We now have four dogs, which is insane. Let me share my outfit really quick because I did tell y'all that I would show you my outfit. I did not mean for this to turn into like a what I wore type video. I really just want it to be a vlog, but might as well share so you can see what I packed. All right, so these earrings are super cute. I love the ear collar and the tassel. They're from Amazon, so I've got those on. And the sheer duster, which I did share with y'all. Um, I'm just wearing this over a basic black bodycon dress. And then these studded heels are also Amazon, but I... I'll have to look and see if I can find a similar link because these exact ones are sold out. But they are such a cute heel and I really, really love the look together. By the way, remember how I was like, this area is just gonna be a mess by the time I'm done with it? Yeah, this is, this is what it's looking like right now.